Plutocracy also does not look with favor on the public sector. If you develop a public sector of services or one of production, which we're not allowed to do in this country, you can't, the government can't go directly into market production. It's just simply not allowed. I mean, there are laws against all that. Um, well, but building public housing, building public health services, you are creating jobs, you're creating tax base, you get revenue back, you're creating services, you're answering human needs, and these plutocrats aren't making a penny on it. That's like Tony Soprano finding out all these new restaurants have opened up right in his neighborhood and he doesn't get any take on it. And so they hate the public sector. The public sector demonstrates that you can actually have human needs taken care of, human production, all that sort of thing, human services, and, and these guys don't make a penny. And so the goal is to privatize this entire public sector because then we get our take. And their take makes Tony Soprano look like a piker, right? What does he deal with thousands of dollars? We're talking about millions and billions of dollars here. The plutocrats are also good, like Tony is. They're good at dealing with and roughing up and beating up on those who can't defend themselves. The low income, the disabled. I'll tell you someone else there, uh, something else they're good at beating up on that can't defend itself, that's the environment. The environment can't defend itself. We have to defend it. And they're really good at it. They're really good. They see the environment. They see whatever natural resources have left are left. They see that as they have a right to whatever those natural resources are there. They have a right to get it and use them as they want, when they want it, to maximize profit, quick cash, um, profits, and the like. Another device they have is deficit spending. This is how the plutocracy uses our de otherwise democratic government in the most undemocratic ways. It's a myth. It's a myth that right-wingers are fiscal conservatives. No one's a bigger wilder spender than the reactionaries who are in power now. Ronald Reagan tripled the national debt from 800 billion to 2.3 trillion by the time he got out. George Bush added an additional 2 trillion to the national debt. Clinton reduced the debt somewhat and actually produced a surplus in his last two budgets. No deficit. What is a deficit? A deficit is when the government spends more money than it takes in in revenues. How can it do that? It does that by borrowing from people who have lots of money rich creditors, banks, financial institutions, and the like, floating government bonds. The national debt is the accumulation of these yearly deficits. Deficits and debts accomplish several things for rich conservatives. First, the debt is a source of safe investment and income for the creditor class. The bonds, those US bonds you buy, you have the full faith and credit of the federal government behind them. It's a safe investment. And one of the things with people with billions of dollars is what do they do with it? What do I put it into? Where can I, where can I put it, you know? That it'll be safe or that it'll make me return like. The second thing is that deficits and debts represent an upward redistribution of income from the millions who work to the rich investors. Because what happens is these investors lend billions of dollars every year to the US government. And we, the people, the taxpayers, have to pay them back at interest that accumulates and accumulates and accumulates and grows. So we're borrowing from the people. The US government is borrowing from the people who they should be taxing. Instead, they cut their taxes and then they borrow money from them that we then have to pay them. So more and more of our federal budget is being privatized. That's the third function of debt and deficit. That in effect, you're privatizing the federal budget. A larger chunk of it is going every year to pay off rich creditors. 
Not for schools, not for hospitals, not for education, not for environmental protection, not for the forest service, not for ele rural electrification, not for housing, blah, blah. No, it's going to pay off rich creditors. The larger the debt, the larger the portion of your tax dollars that goes to the creditors.